Hi, so in one of my program groups, I was asked about showering because that's how they realized that they even had diastasis because when they were showering and washing their hair, they saw the doming happening. And of course, when you're showering and washing your hair, we quite often bend backwards, which can cause that doming. So they asked, what are some tips for showering when you have diastasis? So here's a couple of them for you. Um, when you've got your shower happening, the first thing we need to work on is our ribs. So when you're washing your hair like this, and you've got your hands above your head, what you don't want to do is flare your ribs. So you don't want to arch your upper back to um, work on your hair. Okay, so this goes also for lifting anything above your head. So when you're lifting above your head, you want to make sure that you can keep your ribs down. Now this has a lot to do with shoulder mobility. So after um, being pregnant and if you've been feeding, rocking, nursing your baby a lot, we often have a lot of internal shoulder rotation. We're hugging, we're rocking, it's all internal, internal. And this stops us from being able to reach up above our head without arching like this, which flares our ribs and opens up our diastasis. So you do want to work on opening out our chest and working your lower trapezius, your serratus anterior, so that we can start getting some shoulder mobility back as well. So if you are really internally rotated and you need to lift something above your head, try getting a step still so you don't have to reach up quite so high. Side note. <laughs> um, okay, so washing your hair. So if you're having issues with this, as long as your arms are bent, you can think about hip hinging slightly and sh washing your hair like this, okay? So in more of a hip hinge, wash your hair or soak your hair, condition your hair in this position versus this position, which makes means you need more sh shoulder mobility, okay? So that's number one. When you're scrubbing, getting your hair washed, if you can't get to this position without flaring your ribs, think of hip hinging, so sticking your bum out a little bit, obviously the water down your back, so you're going like that way. When you go to rinse your hair, have the water hitting at about mid head height, okay? So if you're used to being, so the water is sitting sort of on your shoulders at this point, so that you have to sort of lean right back to get the top of your head um, wet, I want you to think about stepping back and just having it hit this point. And this way, you can actually do more of a neck work, or you can, and I know I don't often say this, but you could engage your TVAs and sling your hips forward a little bit, okay? This keeps this line straight, and then hip, hip um, head back this way, okay? Now I know, I never say squeeze your glutes, pull up and sling your hips forward because in general that's really bad. But there are times when it's useful because this back arch where you have to arch your lower back and you flare your ribs can be more detrimental. So engage, so think exhale, sling the hips right forward, you can even bend your knees if you need to and try to keep this flat and then head back. But if you have the neck mobility, you can also just put your head straight back. Okay, so a couple of tips for in the shower. I hope they helped. I know we always have to think about so many things when we have diastasis and everyday movement, but it's really worth doing. Um, these little tips and these changes in your movement is what's going to help you regain a functional core much faster than if you're doming every time you have a shower. Okay, I hope this helped.